Hi, and welcome to another SPT screencast. Today we're going to execute a phishing campaign. So, if you start at the dashboard, you can click on the campaigns link in the sidebar. Right now we don't have any campaign started, so we're going to click the plus sign up at the top left corner of the screen. This brings up the new campaign uh, pop-up. So I already have a Facebook template pre-configured, so we're going to call this Facebook campaign. We're going to pick our groups. If you had multiple groups, they would all be listed here. And you could control click to select multiple groups or just select one. We're going to go with our Facebook login page template. And now in version 0.4, we've actually added an education module. So we're going to go ahead and pick the default education model. You do not have to select anything. You can leave it as none. But if you select one, then you can say educate immediately, which means as soon as the target clicks the link, they'll be presented with your educational material. Or you can click educate after post. So then they'll be educated once they've posted data to your form. And now we click mail. So right now the emails are actually being sent to the targets. So obviously the more targets you have, the longer it'll take. We get our confirmation message that the phishing campaign has successfully been initiated and the emails have been sent. So now we have a campaign. So this is kind of a quick glance at all your campaigns. If you had several going, they'd just be listed down from here. So we see the name of our campaign. We see the template that was used, which we can click on it and it takes us right to it. We can see the targets, uh, the groups uh, that were targeted with this campaign, and then we can see our responses. Uh, so links and posts. So links are people that have actually clicked the link and then posts are people that have taken it one step further and actually posted data to the to the malicious web page. Alright, so I'm going to go out and I'm going to get the email. So I'm going to drag it into the screen and show you what it looks like. So this is uh, a customizable email. Uh, you can put whatever you want in it. And then you can see, you can, you can make the link whatever you want it to be, but you see when you hover over it, it's, not, it's going to our, um, to our SPT installation, not actually going to the Facebook Security Center. And you can make this link look like whatever you want it to be. So we're actually gonna click the link So I'm going to bring this over from my other screen. You can actually see what this looks like. So this looks exactly like the Facebook login page. So now if I go back to our campaign here and refresh the page, you can see that we have one person who's clicked the link. I can click on this and I can filter for, the, for just the people that have clicked the link. Okay. So now going back here to the uh, as the target, we're actually going to post some data. So I'm not really going to enter my information. And now here's our educational material. So this is just the default educational package. Uh, you can customize your education packages uh, to whatever you'd like. So now we come back to our campaign screen here. And we see that, oh, now we actually have posted data. So we're not currently collecting the actual data that's posted but we're showing you what they did post. So these are all the form elements that are in the, in the Facebook uh, login form. So you can see we've got name, we've got email address, we've got that they did click the link, we tell you when they clicked the link, we tell you what they posted, the IP address that they came from, the browser they were using, the version of the browser, and the operating system they were using. Another little handy feature that we added is if you click on the IP address, we actually do a little geolocate uh, lookup, which, because I'm using an internal IP address, um, we're not getting any results. But you'd have a nice little map that would show you exactly where the um, where the target uh, was at when they clicked the link. So that's and you've got the tooltip link here that gives you some more information, and that's a quick look at uh, how you would execute a campaign in the Simple Phishing Toolkit. Thanks for watching.